Hello YouTube, and I hope everything is gonna be in view. I think it is. Sometimes this camera is a little tricky. Um, I'm gonna do a Celtic cross for the comprehensive for the whole month of November, not just um, like a, a couple of days like I usually do. So we'll do the whole month and um, we'll figure out what's going on and that's for Scorpio. So we'll figure out what's going on for Scorpio. Scorpio month of November. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I would love for you to support my channel by doing that. I appreciate every single one of my subscriptions. Subscribers, appreciate everybody. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Spirit, help us get the highest message for the sign of Scorpio. Help us find the, the highest message for the sign, the collective of Scorpio. One more time. Got the moon and the emperor on the bottom. The emperor keeps wanting to come out in your spread for some reason. Okay. The devil. We got the devil as the situation card. The main card. So this can talk about uh, bad habits. It also can be about temptation. If it's not about something like that, it could be revolving around a Capricorn. And this is simply pointing out that they're Capricorn. So take it how you will to your situation. The challenge for the devil <clears throat> is the Page of Swords. Hmm. So somebody's getting information. Somebody's spying on another person. This could be an air sign, a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius child air sign. Could be that. Could have to do with somebody finding out, um, <clears throat> I don't wanna say secrets, but like habits that people have that we wouldn't expose to everybody in the world. Right, there's somebody that could be snooping and finding out information that they really shouldn't be going around finding out about. Your foundation, we have the King of Pentacles, so it could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but somebody who is good with money, they're sitting pretty, they're the leader of the house, they're the ones that hold the coins. Um, they've been through, oh, hang on. Hang on one second. Okay, hi Scorpio. So I tried to do this video once before. It didn't work out. I'm not really sure why. Maybe it was the wrong message. So I'm starting over again. And my name is Kim. I'll be doing your Celtic cross spread for the whole month of November. Not just a couple of days, but for the whole month. And we shall see what's going on. Spirit, if you could help us find the message for the greatest good for the sign of Scorpio, we appreciate it. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Help me with my channel. Help it grow. Keep me inspired. All that good stuff. And I appreciate it. Okay, Scorpio. Scorpio, for you. I can tell you the devil came out on the, the current issue on the first one. Um, Capricorn. Let's see what happens this time. Usually they're not always the same. So let's see. Scorpio. Scorpio, Scorpio. What do we got? Yeah. The, this was, this actually came out as your present situation. So this is our Ten of Pentacles. This is our happiness. This is our home life. This is our money that we are um, doing okay. Family matters, money. Things seem to be going pretty well. Um, the challenge, we have the Page of Wands. The challenge could be finding inspiration 
from that place of already having everything that you need or, or want. Um, I know that can't be true for everybody, but, but there's some kind of spark that you're looking for or that you are wanting. And the Page of Wands could be a child, um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, but definitely it's about that new beginning, that spark, inspiration that keeps you going. Then we have Page of Swords for the foundation. Scorpio, this could be about kids. You know, we have uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, child, could be, or foundation of the issue could be about people spying, people gathering information. Sometimes this is about delays, possible delays. Let's see, what is in our past position? In our past position, yeah, we, we went from nine to 10. So in the past position was us trying to achieve that balance uh, with work and home life and and really becoming independent in our own skin happy you know comfortable in our own skin that we can um, pay for things ourselves maybe maybe about uh, material things that you value that were acquired this is all about being independent I am gonna mention this because a lot of people say this card is independent and then every once in a while you'll get um, a person or a reader that says that these pentacles are nine and they equal nine months in pregnancy. If this has to do with children, this card might have been pregnancy. Just want to add that because it could be on somebody else's timeline. Then in your present circumstance right now, we have the seven of wands. We have you... <clears throat> Marching forward, defending what's rightfully yours. We could have some competition, but we, we don't have you backing down. We have you taking the defense, standing up for yourself and not backing down in what you believe in. Okay, in the near future, ugh. I have the three of swords, some kind of heartache, some loss. Um, we'll clarify it, see if we can't get anything extra on that at the end afterwards. Some heartache or loss, how you are feeling, like, like the fool, like wanting to start, um, wanting to take a leap of faith and start a new journey of your own. Yeah, it's wanting to step into the unknown, having a, a yearning for adventure. In the external circumstances, people are resting. People are resting, people are gathering their strength. In the external circumstances, we could have had a sickness. Physically sick could be um, emotionally worn out something in the external that has to do with rest and rejuvenation. Then the five of pentacles is what you, I'm going to put this in the fear category um, instead of hopes and fears. I would think that it'd be something to fear, especially if you're sitting pretty in the ten of pentacles, you might be afraid of a money loss, a financial loss, or being left out in the cold by somebody. And then we have the Emperor. The Emperor kept trying to come out in your shuffle. So I know that the Emperor has something to do with your spread. Uh, Aries sign coming up very strong in your reading. This is the king of all kings. This is the main outcome is um, being independent, having your own things, knowing what to do and doing them, <laughs> you can do what all of the kings can do, right? So we're gonna clarify this uh, three of swords. Okay, in the near future. Okay, in the near future, we might have a 
we might have you having to save on to some money to hold back on some money. There's heartache associated with this card. This card sometimes represents a person who won't listen to other people, won't listen to what they have to say. Somebody might have not followed your advice. This card might not even be about you. This might be about somebody close to you that didn't follow your advice and ended up in a bad situation, uh, money-wise. So that looks pretty good. It's actually a really good spread. We have King of Swords on the bottom. Libra, Libra Gemini, or Aquarius. Someone maybe an authoritative authority position. Now I'm going to draw some fortune cards and see if we can't find where they would go in this spread. Kind of something new I've been trying to do. And they seem to complement tarot pretty well. So we will see. We will see. Okay, I think that is enough. Scorpio, let's see what we got. See what we got. Oh, I love the rainbow one. I love that one. We have camel. Persevere and you will overcome problems. Just like the seven of wands. So persevere. Stand up for yourself. You will overcome anything. Rainbow. The most difficult part of a situation is over. The most difficult part of a situation is over. I would say it would be in your recent past because the Nine of Pentacles is a challenge. Whether it means a birth, um, you know, a pregnancy, or if it means being independent and gaining your ground, that's still a difficult thing to achieve. Right? And then we have Candle. You will be shown the way. <laughs> I like that. So this one kind of goes with the fool. Because the fool is about taking a leap of faith. And about just trekking where you feel like you should go. What well, Spirit is saying, we're going to show you which way to go. Just follow your intuition and follow your heart. We have that heart-mind coherence where we use both to make a decision that's what spirits want you to do. Then we have card June with beautiful angel wings. So maybe something to do with the month of June. I'm not sure. I know it goes with somebody's story. So we'll put it up there. And then we have rabbit. Says too much concern with sexual matters. Um, honestly, this card... To me, the rabbit also represents fertility. Um, so you might not be overly concerned with it. Um, it. Might just be fertile. Might mean fertile. Then we have wishbone. A wish is granted. Wow. A wish is granted. I think that probably has to do, once again, with this fool... You will be shown the way a wish is granted. And then there's this great new beginning that you're about to trek on. Something very emotionally fulfilling that will enter your life. Thank you very much, Scorpio. I hope this made, made some sense. And I hope you get something out of this reading. You all have a very lovely day or night.